This is Anthony Solo Harris reporting live for Dance Mogul Magazine. We're here at the Newark Student Center for their final performances before summer break. Hi, my name is Michelle Morgan and I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I'm an actress and uh, a voiceover artist and um, some of the cartoons that you might be familiar with that I've done. I do Boondocks. Um, I've done Eddie Murphy's cartoon PJs. I've done Static Shock for Warner Brothers Superhero Static Shock. Woohoo! I played his sister on there. Um, uh, the PJs, I played Juicy Hudson, who's a fat kid. I've done a lot of Warner Brothers cartoons, the Justice League, and uh, there's a whole list of them that I can't think of now because my brain is kind of fried. And what else? Um, the movie that I've done that most people recognize me from, especially in this area, is called New Jersey Drive, where they stole my mom's car, and um, what else of my acting resume? I am a member of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, and what that means is that I decide who gets an Emmy Award or not, so I get to judge other actors' works. And I'm a NAACP theater award winner that I play that I did with Debbie Allen Paul Pearl. And that's like enough about my resume. I have a bachelor's degree too from the University of Alabama. Um, so education wise, and, and I'm a graduate of Dalesburg High School. Yeah! And um, that's it as far as that. Now here presently I teach drama and hip-hop dance at the Marion Golden Student Center in Newark and those were my boys and my girls and some of my children that you saw that drive me crazy because they're crazy because I'm crazy but it's all good crazy and it works together and we clash a lot because I love classic club music and they like their kind of club music so when I put my club music on a typical day is I put my club music on to do my hip-hop Warm up that I'm gonna do, and they go, Oh God, Miss Morgan, could you please take the cookout music off? I feel like my mother getting ready to come in here with some ribs or something like that. So we kind of battle about that, and I try to introduce all kinds of music to them, which they think I'm crazy. I try to introduce them to some Afro Caribbean, like Fela, and they give me all kind of <sighs> grunts and groans and moans that they don't like it. Then I try to give them a little bit of salsa, um, even some like Cap Calloway show music, what else? Um, some real old school R&B music, like um, some Sam Cooke. I try to teach them old school dances. And they think I'm crazy, but I think in the long run, we're gonna finally bridge our little gap together because they think all that popping and stuff that they do, they, they forget that back in the day, already we did all of that. We wore Adidas sweatsuits. We did the one leg up. They just do the booty showing now. We did the one leg up. Thing. So it's just funny how old school people like me, and I, I'm, I'm proud to say I'm old school because I'm here, and a lot of young school, old, the new school people, they're not here anymore, so they ain't even really that new anymore. But um, it'll be nice when we can find bridge that whole gap between the youngsters and the old heads like myself and get. We do sometimes. You see how I have fun with them, so. I'm, I'm, I'm loving what they do, and they're loving what I do, and you know, we are the world, we are the children, we are the ones to make a right to make my parents. And that's about it. Now, myself, I love you, I love your magazine, I'm so proud of Dance Mobile Magazine. Anthony, I'm proud that you're carrying on the legacy that your father set from the Supersonic Popatronics. <laughs> And that he danced at the Apollo. And I hope you do his legacy proud and that you carry it on. And um, just keep the heritage, the whole dance culture alive, everybody. Dance Mobile Magazine, support it 100%. Boss, I love you.